Good afternoon guys. So welcome back to my channel. Uh, again, my name is Jeff and I am so sorry that I haven't posted in a while. Um, we have baby and I'm a little busy now and while well, he's keeping me busy. So um, yeah, welcome back. Um, today we're going to make salmon sashimi. We're going to prep for salmon sashimi. Um, so the very first step is you have to wash the salmon um uh for that process uh, you gotta wash it gently because salmon uh the meat is very soft so even if you run tap water on it it'll tear up the meat and uh especially uh most most of these uh a whole slab salmon comes to bone in but this salmon is already deboned so you want to when you rinse it make sure you put your hands under the the water hot water tap. i mean not hot water cold water always use very cold water uh, water tap and just rinse it with your hands okay don't run the water on the salmon because it'll tear up everything so after that you want to dry it up and since it's already deboned and there's no bones in here what I will do is, I'm gonna salt it. Uh, to salt it, uh, one, it kills bacteria, and two, it'll bring up the color of the salmon. You don't have to pack it in or rub it, just leave it. And while we're waiting for that, um, so usually I, I just let it sit in salt for about 10 minutes. Uh, if you leave it too long, it's fine. It's not going to cook as long as you wash it the same day. But your salmon probably going to be a little bit salty. And you don't want that. So while we're waiting for that, we're going to make the dressing, the sauce. So, so. To make your sauce, now this is not the sauce that you'll find at the uh, sushi restaurant. They don't they, they don't give you any kind of sauce, but my wife, she prefer having a sauce on it. Uh, that's what I did for her, uh, beginning all the time when we first met. Uh, so this is what we do for the sauce, my, my homemade sauce. Here's the recipe. So I usually for one order, one serving is about two slices of the salmon. I use half lemon, maybe about a teaspoon of sugar, just a pinch of salt. sesame oil, about a few drips, and maybe about a tablespoon of soy sauce, and if you have a rice vinegar, use rice, rice vinegar, if you don't have a rice vinegar, you can use regular white vinegar um don't use the cooking vinegar because that'll make it smell weird just a little bit because if you put a lot of vinegar it'll cook the salmon you just want to put the vinegar a little bit to just just get rid of the smell and just a pinch of garlic powder that's it To balance out the um, the smell of the salmon, you gotta put a little bit of seasoning, uh, garlic, such as garlic powder, or uh, if you have oregano. I don't. I have oregano, but I don't personally like to use oregano for sashimi. Um, so that's it. And you can just mix it well until 
the sugar and salt dissolve in the liquid. Now salmon is under the salt for about 10 minutes. We are going to rinse it. Now when you prep a whole slab of salmon, it's easier to make a little ring hole right here. So you can just grab from that. You can hold it like that without touching the salmon so you won't tear it up. You will cut it from the center. First, you wanna cut it down without trimming the skin off. Make sure you try to run it a couple times. Now you can cut the skin down easier, right? There you go, you got two piece. Usually you can just hold the skin. Okay, so once you finish ripping the skin off, you want to make sure all these brown stuff are off because uh, when you eat raw salmon, sometimes you might taste some bitterness or some fishiness. These brown things, that's what they give you. So maybe about five fingers, that's about one serving. So I'm going to Go ahead and pre-cut them. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and again welcome back to my channel. I'm so sorry that I haven't posted in a while. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, hit the subscribe button and hit the like button so it'll notify you next time when I upload the video. Enjoy your sashimi.